Hello, today we're issuing our first report on the Irish residential market for 2023. This report looks at overall transactions for the year gone and looks to some key performance indicators from the opening months of this year. So first of all, we now have final information in terms of transactions in the residential market for last year. So in total, there were 59,500 transactions in the private market in both new homes and secondhand across the course of last year. This represents a nice healthy uptick on the previous year of about 9% and an increase of just under 8% on the pre-pandemic levels in 2019. When we look into the second-hand market, we can see 49,700 transactions, representing an increase of over 8% on the pre-pandemic levels. And in terms of new homes, we can see just under 10,000 transactions, an increase of about 4% on the 2019 levels, so a positive movement forward. It is worth noting that about 57% of all of the new homes transactions occurred in the Greater Dublin area of Dublin, Kildare, Wicklow and Meath. However, there is a worrying trend when we look at commencement data. In the year to date, we can see a contraction in terms of commencement data, which points to a contraction in terms of completions and indeed activity in new homes in this year. A worrying trend, particularly when you consider the gap that exists between demand and supply in that market in particular. Now, in terms of what data is available for the year so far, first of all, in terms of price performance, it would appear from what we've seen in the opening quarter that we are seeing a return to a more stable period for price inflation in the residential market, having had a couple of years of very high levels of price inflation in the period immediately after the COVID emergency. So in the first three months of this year, average values in Ireland rose by about 0.8% bringing the price inflation in the 12-month period to 3.6%. For the Dublin market, we saw average inflation of about 0.6%, bringing price inflation in that 12-month period to just under 3 or 2.9%. And once again, we are seeing higher levels of inflation outside of the capital. So for the first quarter of this year, average values outside of Dublin rose by about 1%, whereas for the 12-month period, average inflation was about 4.5%. So we are still seeing that continued period of higher inflation outside of Dublin in the more rural locations. Now, finally, let's look to the rental market. When we look at overall activity in terms of volumes of properties being bought and sold, we see that about 13% of the properties closing in the first quarter were bought by investors, new investors in the marketplace in the main, whereas 36% of our vendors where investors exiting the marketplace. And this is not a new trend, as we all know. However, if it does persist for the remainder of this year, there is now every likelihood that it will result in a loss of somewhere in the order of 15,000 tenancies from the rental market over the course of 2023. And this comes on the back of a loss of somewhere in gross terms in the order of about 155,000 tenancies in the past decade, or in net terms, when you remove uh, new entrants into the marketplace, a loss of about 80,000 tenancies in that 10-year period. This topic has received a lot of conversation over recent weeks, but really is the most important element of the market for the year ahead. There is no doubt that we do welcome the government's commitment to addressing in particular the tax charges for private investors. However, we would suggest that waiting until Budget 2024 is simply not a sufficient response. What we need is an immediate response to what is undoubtedly a housing emergency. The government have shown an ability throughout the COVID emergency to very success successfully steer the government through what was a very challenging period for the economy. We now need the same type of response from the government to address what is undoubtedly a housing emergency today.